Hello everybody, welcome to Snyder's Inc. And today we have got Frostbite TV doing scary home videos that scare the brave. Will it scare you? We'll find out. Ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button, subscribe button, comment thing down below. Let's go. Now we're taking a look at the case of Flat 7 Ghost again and Tom's sinister documentation of the paranormal encounters that are all unfolding within the four walls of his apartment. He actually suspects that all these paranormal happenings could be related to a tragedy that occurred and that the land his apartment was built on is actually haunted. And peeking into the frame, it is uncertain if this is a malevolent entity that is also bound to this place. But who can blame Tom for being freaked out after this incident? Gonna keep my eyes open. Why does it feel like it skipped a part? Why does it feel like he skipped part of this? He went from talking about thing of just randomly cutting to this vi footage, but it's not even like there was a setup to it. I. D this is weird. To open for any updates. Ghost child. The following is a recording that was shared by user Able3E. He had to share it with his viewers because what was captured frightened him to the core. Oh, I think I A friend seen of this. his has a surveillance camera set up that watches over their backyard. We've seen this, this is before. the yard during daytime. As you might have already guessed, they believe that the camera has captured a ghost one night. His friend is living next to an abandoned house. And it is not further known if anything paranormal related was ever documented around that residence. Yet, one night, on the other side of the fence, a really creepy event got captured on video. When checking the surveillance footage one night, his friend almost got a heart attack. Now take a close look. We have seen this so many times. It would appear that the spirit of a child is walking by. And make no mistake. Could it be a coincidence that it is seen next to the swing set, perhaps? What is your opinion? Could it just be a regular kid? But why would it be seen on an abandoned property in the midst of night? Let me know. The following video is another one that I would categorize under the extremely weird encounter section. It was captured by two urban explorers who were investigating an abandoned building in which some mysterious happenings have been going on over the past years. What exactly is unknown however. The investigation is cut relatively short though, when, based on their reports, they came across a scary looking person standing in an empty room and staring at them. They made it back to their car and got out of there as fast as they could. And then the following was captured. A scary video indeed. A violent stranger must have followed the two men back to their car and Someone just trying to get some sh done? Yeah, there's a guy who just no one nobody on his property. I tell you, people stay the bad place is not easy to just go do that that's scary shit. There could be anyone in there. And then was seemingly throwing a very heavy object at them as they make their escape. The question is, what was this person doing there? Was it maybe a homeless person that felt disturbed? This is one of the theories that most people have. Apparently the two men never returned to this location. I and who can blame not. them really? 
pretty dangerous encounter. I'm glad nobody got hurt. Like I'm saying, if I ever go to a ghost town, I better be going. If I'm going to a abandoned building, I'm going armed. I'm going f armed. The next video was sent to me by Adamantus, who tells me that he stumbled over it in the paranormal section of Reddit. Igor G, a father who was preparing his kids inside their house to go outside for an Easter egg hunt, shared an encounter that startled him and his family quite a bit. His wife was waiting outside for the three of them and was filming the incident through the glass of the entrance door window. You can see Igor and one of his kids from the inside and they appear to be really excited. Shortly before they make their way outside, Igor steps aside to get his other little one ready. And then something really odd unfolds behind his kid in the reflection of the glass door. Let's take a look. Okay. Have you seen anything strange? Take a good look again. First we see Igor himself behind his son, but what happens after? I can't... what... what am I talking... What, what are you on about? Oh! Igor himself... It's Heidenreich, that's all it is. Soft states. My wife was videotaping our kids coming out of the house for Easter to get... I have no idea who the heck that is. At all. Get the reaction. You can see me in the window with the sunglasses on. And then a face appears of an old man. No idea who that is. What do you guys think? Was it a visitor from another plane? Or was Igor fooling us here? Possibly holding up a paper cut or something? I couldn't say. Still, a really creepy video. Mary has sent the following video, she tells me. My friend and her one-year-old daughter were in my bathroom when the little girl started pointing and talking to something in the corner that neither her mother nor I could see. So that's when I decided to open up my TikTok app and apply the ripple glitter effect. There seems to be a shadow of an arm in the curtain behind my friend. Right before that I can see some sort of black fly across the screen. <coughs> Mary didn't tell me if there was any more paranormal activity unfolding in their home, but nobody could explain these sightings this evening. Mysterious. The video was shared by a man named Mariano, and it was shared to a TikTok account, and the story goes that this man, Mariano, was investigating an old country house. <laughs> Suppose this man was staying there with his family. <laughs> this is a transparent figure. Weird. Now, I don't know what this man was doing there with his family. Maybe on a vacation or something? Yeah, look at that. There is something walking over and then disappearing. Now, I've seen water sprinklers, <coughs> you know, that give weird effects as well. But I don't think this was a water sprinkler. It kind of looks like a figure, too.
Björk, a German man and his wife, got startled awake by strange noises emanating from their attic the following night. Sensing something amiss, they grab their camera and begin recording, hoping to document the unexplained phenomena that have been plaguing their home. This chilling video has not only left them perplexed, but also filled with terror. The couple, German immigrants who are living in the United States, purchased a house whose exact location remains undisclosed. However, it is clear that their new abode is situated on haunted grounds. They have been experiencing a series of unsettling events, most of which occur within the confines of their attic, directly above their bedroom. As the clock strikes midnight, they hear distinct sounds of movement from above. Schon wieder. Ich höre Ich guck mal hoch. Why is this camera so bad? Why is this camera guy's camera called so bad here? It appears that even their dog senses the presence of something ominous, cowering under the bed for a few minutes only to retreat back beneath the bed. What follows is a sequence of spine-chilling events.
Nee, nix. Überhaupt nix. Hm. Aua. and a sense of palpable unease fills the air. The couple is too afraid to retrieve the camera immediately after, waiting for a day before Jörg summons the courage to venture back up and retrieve it. The camera's battery is almost depleted, but after a full charge, they review the footage, revealing something that sends shiver down their spines. A high metal vase, previously balanced atop a box, suddenly tilts at a slight angle. Another object is forcefully hurled across the room. The couple firmly believes that their house is haunted, and while the dog's fearful behavior hints at something extraordinary, they leave it up to you to decide. Did they truly capture something paranormal here? Or is there another e There's something creepy there. I don't know if it's paranormal or just them. Their own stuff, them doing them doing it, but it is very creepy and very disturbed looking. When you scare a dog, explanation. You 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 got something that's disturbing. For what unfolded that night. This video was shared by a driver who wasn't quite sure what to make of what he caught that night. Posted this encounter on the paranormal Reddit section and stated that he felt something rather inexplicable was going on that night. He was on his way home from war, and on this particular stretch of road, where the incident was captured, ghostly sightings are nothing rare. Even some of his family members stated that they also have seen ghosts on the road. But of course nothing ever was documented on their part. What really struck the driver as odd is that his radio malfunctioned after he passed by a pale figure. Right here. I mean, this is just a person. I just don't know what's happening, you know. Why is a person just standing there facing that direction of the road and not walking or going anywhere? What would a woman be doing there late at night?
Not to mention that this is pretty dangerous, of course, standing so close to the road. Many people have the opinion that maybe in fact this was one of the several paranormal encounters that seem to take place here ever so often. Is this realistic in your opinion? Quite weird how the skin of this lady is a bit illuminated almost, just like her dress. And what about the radio interference? What a strange coincidence. Sir Bobo on Reddit, he asked the community about a strange anomaly that was recorded in his home. He states, What do we think? Uh -huh. Camera has been going off non-stop the past month. Then we finally saw this, about 7 minutes of it. Our dog has been terrified, keeps his tail in between his legs and is hiding when no one's home. Some people mentioned that this could merely be a dust particle. But most comments say that dust is really unrealistic. The movement pattern of this orb is pretty unique. It's definitely weird looking. I mean, it's just this weird floating thing. I don't know what it is. Dust, it could be something, it's something but it's really weird looking. Its movements are weird. Do you think this could be a paranormal incident? Who knows what is causing it, if that's the case. The following video was sent by Tobias M and he forwarded this originally from Sinistro Hendrik Alves. It was captured by family in the United States that has had some pretty strange events unfolding in the past weeks. Apparently they received a lot of motion alarms at night, only to be seeing weird hovering objects that were making it through their yard and driveway. This was one of their latest recordings. Apologies for my sneeze. Could it just be spider webs or a bug? Very unlikely, says the fan. Could it just be spider webs or a Okay, never mind. Bug. Very unlikely, says the family. It happens so frequently. I believe. I thought this date changed, but I was wrong. I, I've just seen things. If something else is going on here, what do you think? Paranormal? Or something way more rational? Legend. Now we're looking at a recording from La Dimension Oscura. He tells us that the footage stemmed from an urban explorer who decided to investigate a public restroom where it is said that terrifying entities appear. If that's just urban legends is unknown unfortunately. Many people swear to have heard and seen really inexplicable activity in there though. This place is located inside an isolated and abandoned building, but what this man experienced inside was apparently pretty horrifying. My man, was that in the doorway? If that was not in the doorway, you get the fuck out of there. What's a stupid ass? Do you get the? F 
about it. Why are you still sitting there looking? You stupid bastard. What's wrong with you? What a stupid ass. My man, leave the building. If I saw the same creepy figure as much as you will see in this figure, I'm gonna do this thing called get to stepping up out of that bit. I'm not go This is why ghost hunters annoy me, and this is why it's hard for me to believe, because no one's thinking rationally. We can see three different entities, three beings that appeared one after the other, freaking out our. This guy is bona fide stupid, and this guy bona fidely pissed me off. Everything this guy did pissed me off. A poor explorer. The man then told us that supposedly several people lost their lives inside this abandoned building. This of course causes some people to believe that these apparitions could be related to these unfortunate incidents. But this could all just be ghost stories of course. It's hard to say. Now we are looking at the case of Sydney, a dedicated mother who runs the TikTok account Salt Sage. She usually she usually uploads videos around her family and she provides tips on hair, beauty, exercise and her beloved hobby hula hooping. However, at some point Sydney started uploading some rather unusual content, eerie clips uncovering unsettling events in her house. Let's take a look. Spongebob night. Liam, come here. Liam, c right now. What is that? Um, okay, I'm calling your mom. Just stay right here. Chair, Chair you're walking very aggressively. Hey guys, um, I'm just going to make this really quick. Um, a lot of you have suggested that there is somebody underneath the table pulling a string and making the rocking chair move. So I'm gonna show you the table real quick. Oh wow, there's a shelf down there. Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm Audrey, I'm the- What do you mean you don't know how- You're trying to tell me that you- You expect me to believe that you could not pull a string? You could not- you could still easily fake this. I don't know what you mean. I don't know how. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Audrey. I'm the babysitter who was in the first video that you saw about with the rocking chair. Um, and I am so scared right now because you, I'm, we're going to show you a video um, of what happened this evening. Um, I was babysitting again, just me and Liam and Braylon. Um, Liam and I are just sitting on the couch watching a video. Braylon's on her phone. Um, and then some stuff, some crazy stuff starts happening. I'm just going to say the video is untouched, unedited. There's nothing going on. There's some weird noises. You're going to see that we didn't react to it. We didn't hear it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's happening when I'm just, when I, it's just me babysitting, but something weird is happening.
I don't hear anything. What the fuck? Oh shit, okay. Okay, um... Okay, that, yeah, I noticed that. Oh yeah, that's got my attention. What the f- What the f- That's got my attention. This night, Audrey and the kids were spooked out by the following events. Something seemed to have thrown several items down the stairs, and nobody really had any explanation for this. Of course, the family was certain that this must have been of paranormal nature, and they didn't really know what to do at this point. Sydney and Liam here. Um, you all probably remember Liam. He witnessed the rocking chair thing. That was crazy. Um, anyway, just wanted to tell you guys, like, I'm not here to convince anybody um, to believe in it. That's totally fine if you don't. Um, I appreciate your opinion. Yeah, she oh, is. She wants to talk too. Um, but I did want to show you guys something that was sent to me a few days after I sent after I um, posted the original video. Um, this was sent to me from the old owners of this house, um, their granddaughter. So before my family and I moved in, which was two and a half years ago, um, before we moved in here, this house was actually owned by the same family um, ever since it was built. And it was built in 1924. It would appear that whatever is residing in their home is stuck to this place for quite some time already, given that even the former owners could witness these strange and creepy events unfold. So let's see how this case will develop, but it's pretty clear that something otherworldly must be going on in here. The following video was shared by Reddit user CalmCap and the incident has unfolded in his own home. Oh, we've seen this one before. I already know what this one's gonna be. We've seen it before. Home one night, when enjoying the last half an hour before falling asleep in his bed, the user states that he had been dealing with strange shadow sightings ever since moving into his new home. And apparently, it has gotten worse after he started watching Par- Actually, now that I don't know if I have seen this one normal TV shows before bed. He has a security camera in his bedroom, which is filming non-stop in case of emergency. Calm almost suspects that these shadow sightings were only playing out in his head, until this night. Concerning the lights in the other room, he states, I used my laser light projector. I bought it to project stars on the ceiling. I just set it on its side so I'd be able to see if the means would be broken by what I've been seeing. Well, let's watch. Okay. Bro. Bro. The strange shadow can be seen blocking the light from the other room. But how is that possible? Nobody else was up at the time. Many other commenters are sure that Calm has captured something inexplicable that night, which makes this capture so much more creepy. How would you explain this? Do you think it's a paranormal encounter or something different? Now we want to check out another CCTV recording, which was shared by Howie Roll on his very own channel. They have a camera mounted in their kitchen area to check up on the animals and to make sure that no strange things are taking place. After all, there's been a lot of break-ins lately in their neighborhood, but they also state that some nights they can hear weird footsteps and even moaning, but they never saw anything, nor was anybody else in their home at the time. This night, when their CCTV sent them a motion detection message to their phone, they were quite in shock after they realized that something must have entered their home without them noticing. Or maybe it has been there the whole time.
Well, that's edited. No, I know that's edited. Because here's what happens. So these lights are off right now. Right? In this case, they're turning right back off. They were on and just about to turn off again. This is edited. It's very well edited to make people believe, but this is a 100% edited fake. Because it, 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 this is clearly a different time where the lights had just been about to be turned off and someone was walking in. And then... We go back to static footage where it was before where no one's there. As soon as the camera switches into natural light mode, there's a strange shadow figure making its way towards the left in the back. What is going on here? Howie and his family were not up at the time, and in their minds it had to be something paranormal. Many people do actually believe that this video could be proof for them that something otherworldly is living in their house. But who can say for sure what it was? It's very unsettling though. How? I just gotta know how anyone could believe that that is a ghost video. That is about as fake as it gets right there. That was the most easiest the thing I could tell was I've ever seen. What the fuck? Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this reaction video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all for the next one.